Sierra Leone, Africa, 2022-2023. Finally, I landed in Africa as well. <laughs> now this was some new territory for sure. And the Lord dug deeper, beginning the process of healing my soul. Being with a heart dweller's father, a brother from the mountain, together in this mission, there was ample things I had to unlearn and relearn anew, according to the Lord's ways. My whole life I was a shed in soul, not sharing much with anyone. This caused much pain to my family in previous years before coming to the mountain. The Lord with Father, the brother, the heart brother, taught me to open up. I didn't know how to deal with my emotions. I barely let them out, them being so negative. The Lord and brother taught me about this too. But one of the most important lessons here would be to also give love, express it, speak it out. So I was totally being brought out of my comfort zone. Not only was the Lord cultivating my soul and character, but also growing me up into a woman. Not a child, not a teenager, but a woman. Being made the mother of the House of Christ ministry, this taught me about exercising the God-given authority, leadership, having to step up and face people, direct, speak, instruct. I couldn't be a marshmallow anymore. My character had to grow. Also, I had never been with a grown man so much in my life. So being with brother, was a perfect chisel of the Lord to begin to shape me well, to bring out my true self, both good and bad, instructing me in many things about life I had no knowledge of, thus also answering many of my questions of long. Yes, I had to learn to receive love. Brother is a soul the Lord feels with much love, but I would have a fight with that. I would not be open enough to receive it fully. Thus, I would hurt him as he sensed rejection from me. I was a huge up and down mess, which the Lord was undertaking to unmess me. So brother with the Lord's grace had to have much patience with me in the growing. The Lord was healing self-hatred, self-condemnation, a shut-in mindset, Exposing me in pride, humbling, adjusting, many self-denials in the process. Stepping up, dealing with fear of men, people. He was on to the deep digging now. Such a deep digging. The enemy many times would try and bring division among us, brother and I. But the Lord somehow always had us sit down and speak openly. And at the end of the day, we would be restored back fast. This is yet another thing I am being taught. Transparency. The Lord desires transparency in his house. And brother is teaching this by example. All he is teaching in the Lord. He himself firstly does it. What amazed me foremost was how quickly our relationship would be cultivated between brother and me, that we marveled at what the Lord was doing. I will tell you openly that quickly the enemy tried me hard. You see, back while I was in Germany, the Lord revealed that I would get married one day here on earth, to my shocking surprise. I always believed he wanted me to remain unmarried and be his alone. It hit me hard at first, this revelation, but had to yield to his designs for me. So when I came to Sierra Leone and saw how quickly my relationship with brother would raise up, a question gripped me fast, if he was the one the Lord had for me. This idea would cause me to draw back from receiving the love brother had for me, pure brotherly love in the Lord. I would misunderstand so much that... It became a mental torment, messing me up in disorder, unable to cope with myself or with those around me. 
Over time, the attacks of anxiety would hit so hard. Temptations to leave all behind and give up on my walk with the Lord, on heart dwellers, on everything with the Lord, arose. But even in this, the Lord was teaching me not to fight alone, but to allow a brother to help me, which many times would bring me back to my senses, a little bit at first. I would fight this idea of marriage with him, at times even despising it, and wishing to think of nothing about anything about marriage at all, so I would be very alert to any anxiety attacks touching the subject. The Lord would give me his words and messages, some puzzles here and there to direct me, but confusion would soon perplex me again, so I began to hate the word marriage. Seeing how much suffering this topic would bring me, I wanted nothing to do with it anymore. Misunderstanding the Lord is not funny. At all. For it can bring a soul's destruction if she is not careful and returns back to Him. I was blinded by this confusion and could not see what the Lord was actually doing. Like in a storm, you don't see anything clear. The Lord was working deep in me. I would again fall numerous times and experience my many failures and the evil of mind and heart and itself. But with the digging there is ample fruit brought about. Surely I can see he did great things in us, in the families of Sierra Leone, in all that we met. After six to seven months in Sierra Leone, the Lord moves us to Italy. Our mission in Sierra Leone for the poorest of the poor continues. We have newly formed a GoFundMe page. Would you please help us support these families, continually providing for them so they will not be in lack? Will you be the hand of Jesus to help us, to help them? Will you be there for them? Help us reach the goal and to provide for them continually. So they too will rejoice in the Lord our God. Everything you give is a huge blessing for them. God bless you.